Hello everyone, welcome to a new episode of NS60 Ninja. So today's episode is going to be about NS60 clusters. So um, whenever we build a NS60 manager or NS60 node, manager node, there's a possibility where we can host uh, or we, where we can have three nodes in a NS60 cluster. So that means in the beginning, the first time that we deploy an NS60 manager, we will have one node. This is our first node. Um, later, when we, the first node is deployed, we can deploy a second node and a third node. Now, when this is done, um, we can form, or when the second and third one is there, what N60 basically does, it forms a cluster. And these nodes, these VMs, basically these are all VMs, manager VMs, and the 16 manager VMs. These VMs can be hosted on different hosts, or actually should be hosted on different hosts. So let's say you have a host here, it's host one. You have a host here, which is host two. And you have a third host, which is host three. I mean, from a technical perspective, you can always host all th these three on this hoax here. But in, uh, because we are looking for redundancy, um, it's not advisable to do that. So what we need to do is basically place one manager here, one manager here, one manager here. So these hosts can be part of the same vSphere cluster, or these hosts can be part of a different vSphere cluster. So basically cluster one, cluster two, cluster three. Um, it depends what your requirement is, um, but this is one of the possibilities. So when you look at this, um, in, my, so in, in this video I'm going to explain you how to create or how to form a cluster. So here we see our vSphere uh, cluster and you can see that in the management cluster I only have one NS6T manager. So if you go to the NS6T manager and log in, We can see here that I only have one in the 16 management node and that the train of cluster is recommended. So let's go to system and appliances. And here we can also see there's only one appliance uh, in the cluster and the cluster is stable. And uh, the next step would be to add a new appliance. But before I'm going to do that, let's uh, add some fully qualified domain names or DNS records uh, for the fully qualified domain name for the second and for the third uh, N60 manager node. So this one is going to uh, end with local manager number two. The first IP address ends with dot eight, so this one is going to be to dot nine. And now we have that. I think it's good to also add the other one in, the third node. Which is going to be the dot three or, or the number three and the dot ten. So now we have all our N6 uh, nodes in there. Now let's start the deploying. So the host name is going to be obviously the one with the two. The management IP address will end with dot nine. The gateway is 10.203.230.1.
now I'm deploying small appliance as you can see uh, let's select the management domain and uh, the correct storage and my provisioning is going to be thin let's also select the correct network it's going to be the pod 230 management that's my management network now that everything's ready let's click next and we're going to enable SSH and the root access let's type in the password and let's leave everything default and from this moment on we will install the appliance Now we can watch the appliance deploy. Um, in this video, I did a fast forward, so um, it takes approximately for me 45 minutes to, to deploy one single appliance. And uh, right now, I'm going to fast forward the video so you can see the fast forward state. Now, before I can, uh, I was getting worried a little bit, so it took a long time and keep it, it kept at 55%. So I started refreshing the browser, and I guess I need to have a little bit more patience here. So, uh, or a little bit more patience. Um, well, let's just wait again. and eventually you can see it's continuing let's fast forward again and eventually you can see the second note is there the cluster stays the greatest for a while but um, it takes a while to uh, do the proper configuration within the cluster so eventually you will see that the uh, the cluster will be um, okay or stable but as, as you can see this will take a little while uh, at least my second node is there and at some point you will see that uh, well this is going to take a while so um, I just hit refresh just to check it out it does fix anything but you just need to stay patient until if eventually uh, it becomes green No, refreshing all the time that doesn't really help so again uh, that's just wait um, I, at some point uh, I uh, thought you know what it's stable now so let's deploy in our appliance the, th the third one and uh, as you can see there um, we see everything's green 
And I think it's advisable to not start deploying the other appliance until the they're, they're all, I, I guess, okay. So the third appliance deployment is kind of the same as the, the second one. Except the host name is different and the management IP address obviously is different. This one would add into it dot uh, ten, and the management gateway is the same as the, as the other one, the dot one. So also here I'm deploying small uh, small uh, appliance. Again I'm deploying a, the management cluster. There's no need to select the resource group. And also need to select the host. Data store is important for me, and the network again, management network. And let's hit next to type in the password, and to also select the the actual uh, SSH and root settings. For we can do, let's do quick verification of the settings, and this looks okay. Let's like this is next. Enable SSH and root access, and type in the password. And let's wait and watch it deploy. Now I did another fast forward here. And at some point the appliance is there. And you can see that the cluster right now is also unavailable. But it takes a while to just go through it. Um, now we can see all three nodes are stable. And um, well, we can uh, go in to view the details of each node. Let's try that right now. So let's go into the first uh, N16 manager node uh, and try to look at the uh, well the cluster ID. So the cluster ID is there. Now let's go into the actual first node and we can see everything is green and successful over there. Uh, let's try to look at the second node as well. Also everything green. And finally the third node. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.